And yet suddenly there may be an upside to all of this sadness. And it's this, we can go now. Iraq's democratic elected government has asked us to leave. And we should leave immediately. Remaining in Iraq increases the power of bureaucrats and think tanks in Washington. It does do that. And that's why they're in favor of it. But as the last week has shown, it imperils the lives of Americans. And for no good reason. We can't turn Iraq into Belgium. We tried that. It didn't work. It's never going to work. We don't need their oil anymore. A lot has changed since 2003. We've got fracking now. And so it's time to go. Oh, but you can't just leave Iraq, scream the think tankers and the TV war planners. It's irresponsible. They miss the irony. But you can't leave. Well, actually, you can. Here's how it's done. How does the United States get out of this situation? Is there a, is, how do they is get there a way out? out? You know how they get out? They get out. That's how they get out. Declare victory and leave. Because I'll tell you, this country is just going to get further bogged down. They're in a civil war over there, Wolf. There's nothing that we're going to be able to do with a civil war. They are in a major civil war. And it's going to go to Iran, and it's going to go to other countries. They are in the midst of a major civil war. That was 2007, 13 years ago. It was good advice then. We should have taken it. It's not too late. Let's do it now.